What's up guys, Switchy here. Welcome to part 20 in the Arc Server Manager series. Today we're going over Supply Crate Overrides. This one's a little bit tricky. I'm going to give you guys a really good base layer on how to get it set up. You'll have to take that information, kind of tweak it to how you want things. Uh, we're going to mess with a little bit of the armor sets and stuff like that and supply drops and kind of go from there. If you guys don't need to know how to override the supply drops, feel free to go ahead and back in the video tutorials. Hopefully you find something you need. But if you do want to know how to do it, stick around because we're getting into it. Alright guys, so it's kind of a weird situation. Kind of what you have here, it almost looks like an organizational unit if you think about it. You have the supply crate override, you have item sets underneath that. Underneath that you have the item set entries, and then underneath that you have the items. Alright, so it's like a big pyramid that happens. And throughout that whole process, it grabs one of those things and then kind of goes down into the next, goes down to the next, and go down, goes down into the next. So what we're going to do is right now, we're just going to go ahead and edit the red... Uh, drops the red beacons. So on the island, that would be Arc Prime, red beacon. Bam. We're going to add that. Now we're going to prevent duplicates. We're going to not append this because we're going to override it. If we were going to just add things to the existing sets, we would just append it here. And we're not going to worry about the prevent increasing. That's just if you are appending, you check that and it dynamically. Um, increases the amount of items that can be spawned based on how many things you've added, okay? So it's nothing all that greatly important. Item sets here, we're going to go ahead and do one. We are going to say that the minimum item, we're, we're going to leave that alone right now. We'll come back to that in a second, actually. Um, we're going to come down here and we're going to do this, and we're going to say that this is flak armor. That's what that description is going to be and then here we're going to add in our flak armor pieces so that should be primal flak let's just going to grab this and drag it up here it's going to be faster that way flak boots now what i'm going to do is i've got three different sets set up already in a file so i'm going to show you guys how to import that file um let's assume that i did all this stuff already. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. All right. And I want to import the stuff that I have from my file process. All right. So you see, we got the arc red beacon. I'm going to select that. We have three different item sets here. We have an item set that is our flak. We have an item set that is our fur and we have a tech armor item set. Now in these, what we're looking at is a min and a max, right? So if, if when this drops, it selects this item set, how many minimum and how many maximum items can happen in that? So we're just going to do one through five on that for now. And this says at the top here, how many minimum sets do we want to pick through? I want to pick through all three. So we're going to set that as a three min and a three max. That means it's going to pick from all three of these sets. So we're going to get at least one piece of everything. Then it's going to give us a maximum of five pieces from that set. Now inside of there, if we want to, we can change the weights and we can change the qualities, but they, they definitely say not to do that. Like wildcard re recommends not doing that, but you guys can play with that if you want. If you want to change the weights and you made it like tech armor away to five, then of course it's going to drop more often than anything else. So just kind of go from that. But with us doing it through all three, it, the weight at that point does not matter. Okay. Now down in here, you'll also notice that we did a change of the force blueprint stuff so the flak set comes in there's no force blueprint the blueprint chance is zero that means every time i get flak it should be an actual piece of armor on the flip side of that fur every time we get fur it should just be a blueprint and then here i'm going to change this because it seems a little bit 50 percent seemed or 50 seemed a bit drastic so i'm just going to do 10 on that one so the blueprint chance here is going to be 10 in the tech armor. So that's basically how you set this up. You can also weight the pieces within that I oh, the items itself. If you want something more often, like we could make tech boots a five and we would get more tech boots than anything else. You can do all that stuff. But keep in mind, this is a very small sample size. 
So we're going to go ahead and go over to the test server. We're going to boot it up and uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. All right, guys, we are here on Herbivore Island. We called down a few red beacons. We're going to go ahead and just grab everything out of them. Um, I think we're going to grab everything out of them. I don't know what button I hit there, but evidently it was the wrong one. And action. There we go. And let's go look at our haul. Let's see what we got. Come back here, hang out by my RG. What do we have in our inventory? All right. So we got fur. And all of that fur is blueprints. Right? All ascended, or all ascendant, I should say, and all blueprints. We got some iron stuff, which we're going to go ahead and put on our bodies, because why not? No blueprints for iron. So that's good. Everything we got there was also ascendant level. And the tech stuff we had changed to a 10 banger, and you notice they're all still blueprints, right? So I don't know if that's a thing with the tech armor. I'm not really sure, but you can see that's a, that's working. That is what it is. Um, if you guys want to test that, it's basically hitting tab and typing in admin cheat summon and whatever the supply crate level is. This one's supply crate underscore level 60 underscore c underscore and that will test out your beacons all right so that's pretty much that if you guys want me to go into like a more in-depth explanation of how it selects everything um i can do that in a different video if there's enough interest but honestly just think of it like a pyramid at the top of the pyramid you have your red beacon and then underneath that you have all of those sets and then underneath that, you have all of the sets that are within those sets. And then underneath that, you have all of the items that are in those sets. So it's a really weird setup, and it's it's a bit of a mishmash of things. But you can get really granular with it, and you can have a lot of control over it if you want to have it. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys found that somewhat informative and helpful, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.